Now, it takes a certain amount of guts, dare I say a certain amount of balls, to be able to try and launch a political attack on someone for doing the exact opposite of what you did. Let me explain. As you know, going into the 2010 election, Julia Gillard has had to live with the words, there will be no carbon tax under the government I lead. Because, of course, the government that she was going to lead was going to be a Labor Party that, if it won a majority, it would not have introduced the carbon tax as we know it. But as we know, it was a hung parliament. They needed to do a deal with the Greens. They needed to do a deal with the independents. And therefore, we now have a carbon tax. Forever, Julia Gillard will be judged by millions of Australians for saying one thing before an election and doing another after the election. But now the Prime Minister is trying to scare you out of even considering voting for Tony Abbott at this coming election because he is going to have a review of all taxes. Now that means all taxes. The only one you're hearing is about is the GST, but it will be a review of all taxes. There may well be a conclusion from that very review that we all pay too much company tax, too much personal income tax, dare I even say the amount of taxes and charges that are put on sales, goods and services, it may even go down. But most likely there will be a suggestion at some point that we need to do something about the GST. In fact, it is long believed that the reason the GST is an almost inefficient tax is because it charges some things in, in our economy, but not all things. And also, if it was raised to, say, 12 or maybe 15 per cent, you'd be able to get rid of dozens and dozens and dozens of state government charges. So today, Barry O'Farrell appeared here on Sky News and he said, God forbid, why not have a conversation about changing the mix of taxes that if... The best thing to do is to put up the GST by a little bit. It'll get rid of other taxes at the state level. But of course, because that all takes a little bit too much to explain, we have the Prime Minister who herself said one thing about a tax and did another thing after a federal election is now trying to make it seem that definitely if you vote for Tony Abbott, there's going to be a change to the GST. Well, here's all that is going to happen based off what Tony Abbott has said himself. And unlike the Prime Minister, I think he can be trusted on this, there will be a root and branch review of the taxation system, just like Julia Gillard and Kevin Rudd did. But unlike Julia Gillard and Kevin Rudd, they will also talk about the GST. If a conclusion is reached in the next two years that that's a smart thing to do, they'll take it, not to this, but to the next election. So just like the GST originally, John Howard said never ever going into 1996, but unlike Julia Gillard and the carbon tax, he didn't just flip it to win the vote of a couple of independents and to hold on to the prime ministership. He put his balls on the line and actually went to an election. So again, without torturing the metaphor and without everyone thinking too much below the groin, it takes a certain amount of guts to be able to try and attack your political opponents for doing exactly the opposite of what you have done. The very thing that means millions of Australians, their vote cannot be bought. They decided on that very day that you broke the carbon tax pledge that you were done as Prime Minister. Good luck to you, Julia Gillard. Good luck to all of the ministers and everyone else who will try and scream this one down. But firstly, it ain't going to happen in the next three years. And if it does happen, it'll be the centrepiece of the next election.